For me, the program will be a success if somebody or everyone notices that they are connected with themselves in a new way and have found a connection with another person in a group that surprises them or makes them feel like, wow, wow. <laughs> What I see often, uh, not only in myself, but other people uh, becoming an improviser, is that you join a group of people with who you have a language in common. So you can take that language to any other country, you can go and improvise in any other country, and you, it's kind of like you hit the ground running with those people because you have the language of improv in common. With their skills and with their smartness, they can do a lot. And I like to see where we can take it further, uh, to make them leap into uh, new situations, to uh, be spontaneous and to dare to be vulnerable in new places. They build beautiful relationships out of this by, of, of course, obtaining those improv skills and using them in their daily practices, which could be work-related or in their private lives. I started improv and before that I was a very shy girl in the outside world and then I just became more present, more talkative with other people and love to do presentations. One of the most important lessons that improv taught me is that it's okay to look like the stupidest person in the room and you can have a great deal of fun uh, doing that. My learning personally is that uh, improv really gave me um, the confidence to trust on my intrinsic intuition and values, um, even discover my core values, which is important for me. And uh, I also take that in, in my work, in my daily work. If you feel stressed, try to, to embrace it. And I've seen it so many times that it happens that people come in, are, are a bit timid and just I have a work background that. Okay. Yay! Okay. Okay. Now focus. Yeah. Hey. Um.